I'm going to show you how to get the important Discord Nitro features for free. Now covering up my Pringles wallpaper, we're going to get started with custom emojis. What you need to do is go to the first link in the description and you should see image clipboard and basically this website, all it does is allow you to save emojis on your browser locally. So what you do is you basically just go through Discord and you need to be on the client unfortunately. Go through Discord, find a custom emoji you want, right click it, click copy link, then you go back to image clipboard. You paste it in, press enter, and now you have the emoji in your collection, and all you need to do is just click on the emoji, go into Discord, and then you just send it as a link, and it'll convert into an image. Now just keep in mind that if a server has embed perms disabled, just like this, I paste in the link, it won't embed the actual image. So just keep that in mind, you need to have embed perms. Now if you're a better Discord user, you can also use free emoji and Discord free stickers, which will allow you to do the same thing, except you don't have to go through this website, you just use the normal Discord client. Once again, better Discord is against Discord's terms of service, so you can just stick with the image clipboard if you want to be completely safe. So next up, we're going to increase our upload limit. Now there's two ways of doing this. The first way, my favorite way, is we're actually going to get gilded. I know. Uh, <laughs> pretty stupid, but we're using Gilded because it has a free upload limit, so make an account on Gilded, just create a group, create a group, go through the process, and all you need to do is just click and upload some media. So media or file, click browse. I'm going to go to my downloads, and I'm going to upload a file, and this file in itself is 78 megabytes. So kaboom, I uploaded my large video, and all you need to do is just click play on it, then click the share button and click copy. I go into general chat. Well, in this case, I have to go to media because you do need embed perms once again. I paste it in, and guess what? Image gilded CDN, my video is now there. Now I'm gonna delete it just in case because I know for a fact I probably said a swear word while I was recording that. And this also works with images, so just click the plus button, add media or file, browse for your image, upload the image, press enter. Then all you need to do is just click on the image, click on this little share button, copy the URL, and it's the same process. Go to media, paste it in, kaboom. And once again, just to reiterate, if you paste this in a channel where you don't have embed perms, then uh, it just won't work. It'll just show the link, which is unfortunate. Now, for some reason, you just want to avoid gilded. I don't know why. I mean, the 500 megabyte upload limit is fantastic. You can also use Tixty, which is kind of a free service that you have to register for. But when you do, you can upload files as big as 200 megabytes. All you need to do is just go to my files. You click new upload, you upload your file. And then once you upload, just click on the clipboard then you can paste it into any channel and you need embed perms once again however if you don't have them people can click on the link and they will be redirected to your custom Tixty url that shows your image or your video now next up i'm going to show you how to change your discord tag now you can't change it to anything specific you can just change it to something completely different it'll be random still so if you have like a cool discriminator like mine is 6600 on no text to speech then you might want to keep it. But if yours is a complete mess, like 6742, then I'll show you how to change it. Go into, I mean, you can go to my server, just make sure a server has dyno. Then all you need to do is just do slash discrim. Then what you need to do is just enter in your Discord discriminator number. So mine's 6742. And if I press enter, it'll show me people who have the same discriminator as me. And all I need to do is just copy one of their names. So I'm going to copy Fitzroy Jenkins 6742. I'm going to go to my user settings, go to my account, and I'm going to change my username to their username. Then I'm going to put in my password, and you'll notice that now my username is Fitzroy Jenkins, and it's 4920, which I think is a lot better. Now just keep in mind, you can only do this like I think three times before it'll start to get mad at you. So just change it once a day or something, and then you can add back in your name, Skittles with a Z. And now it says I'm changing my Discord username or tag too fast. Try again later. So that's kind of the caveat of this method, but it does allow you to change your discriminator. And then you just change your username in like a couple hours or maybe a day later. Now next up, I'm going to show you how to send larger messages. So what you can do is go to, well, I mean, in the description, there will be the Discord wall of text splitter. You just paste in your wall of text and click split me, and it will split it into two sections. So now I can copy this first section. I can go into Discord and paste it in. Then I can go back to the Discord wall of text splitter, get the second section, and paste it in. The unfortunate thing about this website is that it ruins formatting, so my original source material does look like this, but what you can always do is just cut it at a paragraph. I mean, 
it's not that hard. Now, if you're a better Discord user and you want to break the terms of service, completely fine by me, I don't care. You can use the plugin Split Large Messages, which will automatically do this for you. When you press the Enter key, it'll just send the three messages and split it up automagically without you doing anything. It's actually awesome. It's a great plugin. For custom video backgrounds, you can get the NVIDIA Broadcast app, which allows you to use your GTX 5000 RTX 30 bajillion gaming graphics card to have background removal and you can have your own custom background and stuff. Not going to go through the process because it's not really too important. It should be pretty easy though. Now just note that the requirements are here. So if your computer doesn't meet these requirements, then uh, uh oh, that sucks. And now finally, the last thing is increasing your streaming quality. Now just note that if a server is boosted beyond level two, you actually do unlock 1080p and 60 FPS. So try your best to just jump into a server and stream on that one if you can. I don't know, just find a cool place to hang out with your friends. Up to you or you you could just use Gilded because it'll let you do this natively. And finally, just before I close this video out, I want to talk about two things. First off, there are better Discord plugins that allow you to customize your profile, but they're local only. That means other people can't see them, so that's why they're not included in the video. And finally, if you do buy Discord Nitro, that's completely fine. You shouldn't feel cheated out because, you know, there are ways around the system. You're supporting Discord, you're supporting the developers, which is a good thing, you know. It's a chat platform. It's up to you if you want to spend $10 a month so you can send stickers that move that are anime. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Oh, and someone asked me to say, and I did. <laughs> I'm going to hate myself when I hear this over and over because people send it to me in memes.